Just one, two. Good afternoon, everyone. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, today as we come in close to Thanksgiving, tomorrow we'll be celebrating a Thanksgiving Day, and where we have all our family and friends gathered around us, and another reason to give thanks to God for all that God has given to us. But today we also celebrate the feast of St. Andrew Dong Lok, the priests and companions and martyrs 
We read from the order that St. Andrew Dunlach was, was, was uh, martyred. He lived a martyr in Vietnam, where many, many others have also lost their lives uh, and, and keeping the Catholic faith alive in a communist country. And so we want to continue to pray for Vietnam and for all the martyrs who have lost their lives and preaching the gospel there. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate this mystery of God's love for us, let us call to mind our own failures, asking our Lord for peace and pardon. Tu has sido enviado a sanar los corazones afligidos. Señor, ten piedad. Señor, ten piedad. Tú que has venido a llamar a los pecados. Cristo, ten piedad. Cristo, ten piedad. Tú que estás sentado a la derecha, el Padre, para interceder por nosotros, Señor, ten piedad. Señor, ten piedad. Dios Todopoderoso, tenga misericordia de nosotros, perdone nuestros pecados, y nos lleve a la vida eterna. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, source of origin of all fatherhood, who kept the martyr St. Andrew Dung Locke and his companions faithful to the cross of your Son, even to the shedding of their blood, grant through their intercessions that spreading your love among our brothers and sisters, we may be your children, both in name and in truth, through your, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Lectura del libro del profeta Daniel. En aquellos días, el rey Baltasar dio un gran banquete en honor de mil funcionarios suyos y se puso a beber con ellos. Animado por el vino, Baltasar mandó traer los vasos de oro y de plata que su padre, Nabucodonosor, había robado del templo de Jerusalén para que bebieran en ellos el rey y sus funcionarios sus mujeres y sus concubinas. Trajeron, pues, los vasos de oro y de plata robados del templo de Jerusalén, y en ellos bebieron el rey y sus funcionarios, sus mujeres y sus concubinas. Bebieron y comenzaron a alabar a sus dioses de oro y plata, de bronce y de hierro, de madera y de piedra. De repente aparecieron los dedos de una mano que se pusieron a escribir en la pared del palacio detrás del candelabro y el rey veía cómo iban escribiendo los dedos. Entonces el rey se demudó, la mente se le turbó, le faltaron las fuerzas y las rodillas le empezaron a temblar. Trajeron a Daniel y el rey le dijo, ¿Eres tú Daniel? uno de los judíos desterrados, que mi padre Nabucodonosor trajo de Judea? Me han dicho que posees el Espíritu de Dios, inteligencia, prudencia y sabiduría extraordinarias. Me han dicho que puedes interpretar los sueños y resolver los problemas. Si logras leer estas palabras y me las interpretas, te pondrán un vestido de púrpura, y un collar de oro, y serás el tercero en mi reino. Daniel le respondió al rey, Puedes quedarte con tus regalos y darle a otro tus obsequios. Yo voy a leer esas palabras y te las voy a interpretar. Tú te has rebelado contra el Señor del cielo. Has mandado traer los vasos de su casa, y tú y tus funcionarios tus mujeres y tus concubinas han bebido en ellos, han alabado a dioses de plata y de oro, de bronce y de hierro, de madera y de piedra. 
que no ven, ni oyen, ni entienden. Pero no has glorificado al Dios que tiene en sus manos tu vida y tu actividad. Por eso Dios ha enviado esa mano para que escribiera. Las palabras escritas son contado, pesado, dividido. Y esta es su interpretación. Contado. Dios ha contado los días de tu reinado y les ha puesto límite. Pesado. Dios te ha pesado en la balanza y te falta peso. Dividido. Tu reino se ha dividido y se lo entregarán a los medos y a los persas. Palabra de Dios. Bendito seas para siempre, Señor. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Bendito seas para siempre, Señor. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him about all forever. Stars of heaven. Bless the Lord, praise and exalt him about all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Lluvia y rocío, bendigan al Señor. Todos los vientos, bendigan al Señor. Bendito seas para siempre, Señor. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Cold and shield, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Bendito seas para siempre, Señor. Aleluya, aleluya, aleluya. Aleluya, aleluya, aleluya. Sé fiel hasta la muerte y te daré como premio la vida. Dice el Señor. Aleluya, aleluya, aleluya. Aleluya, aleluya, aleluya. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, they will seize and persecute you They will hand you over to the synagogues and to prisons, and they will have you led before kings and governors before of my name, because of my name. It will lead you to your giving testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand, for I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will even be handed over by parents brothers, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will have be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesús nos llama a permanecer fieles al Evangelio a pesar del costo. Ser fiel al Señor es un desafío, incluso en momentos en que todo va relevantemente bien en nuestras vidas. Es aún más desafiante cuando ser fiel al Evangelio tiene un costo 
ya sea para nuestro sustento, nuestras amistades o nuestros lazos familiares. Jesús nos anima a perseverar recordando el premio que promete la vida eterna. The cost of discipleship. What are you willing to sacrifice for the sake of the gospel? Are you willing to die for God? Those were the faces whenever you see us wearing our red. In fact, this red vestment, we call it a chasuble. This red vestment I bought in Vietnam. If you look at the back of the, of the vestment, you can see it's a very strong Vietnamese vision of the world, the cross over the world. But in Vietnam, just not even a hundred years ago, many martyrs lost their lives for the sake of the gospel. There's still martyrdom going on today. You think of the most martyrdom that we've experienced in the history of the church was in the early church in the first 100, 200 years. It wasn't until Constantine came and made Christianity a, a, a national religion. But before that, if anybody's ever been to Rome, they were having church underground, the catacombs in Rome. If you ever go to Rome, I encourage you to go to the catacombs, and there's a beautiful uh, tour guide that will take you through the tunnels. And in the tunnels is where they celebrate at Mass. The last time I was in Italy, we got to celebrate Mass down in one of the catacombs. a very powerful experience. But that's where the church was for many years because they couldn't celebrate it publicly. Unfortunately, even today, there's still some countries that you can't celebrate the Mass in public. So we in America should feel very privileged that we have that religious freedom to come to church daily and celebrate the Mass. We want to remember those who have lost their lives. The color red is the color of martyrs, for those who sacrificed everything for the sake of the gospel. Today's readings we call it the, the cost of discipleship. Dietrich Bonhoeffer was a was a Protestant minister who lost his life in a concentration camp in World War II. And he wrote the book on the cost of discipleship. What are you willing to sacrifice for the sake of the gospel? I, mean, I remember the story of hearing uh, in one of the, the shootings, the school shootings in Colorado, and I remember one of them, the shooters, went up to one of the girls and said, you're a Christian. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Where's your God now? Are you willing to die for your God? And she said, yes. And he killed her. Martyrdom. Still happening today. As we are on the eve of celebrating Thanksgiving, Let's not forget the blood that has been shed over countries, years and generations after generations. We are very thankful for one living in a country as wonderful as the United States of America that gives us religious freedom. But let's not forget about those who don't have that freedom. And let's pray for them. But we have so much to be thankful for. And that's what I hope that today reminds us not, yes, we mourn the loss of, the, of those who, who gave their lives, but also we give thanks to God for being a part of a church that sees salvation and freedom and love and mercy and forgiveness, that we have that God that gives that to us so that we can go and freely give it to others. Amen. Amen.
Let us stand together for the prayers of the faithful. My brothers and sisters, trusting in the Lord's providence, let us pray for our needs and those of the world. For an increase in religious vocations, may the Lord bless those discerning priesthood or consecrated life with generous and open hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Por los legisladores, que el Dios de la justicia los guíe en el cumplimiento de sus deberes. Roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, óyenos. For the imprisoned, May the mercy and love of Christ bring them strength and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Por todos los aquí reunidos, que reine en nuestros corazones y en nuestros hogares un espíritu de perdón, reconciliación y caridad. Roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, óyenos. For the faithful departed, may the Lord, our blessed mother, and all the saints welcome them to the eternal banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts, for those watching at home, Maria Teresa Anis, James Munoz, Ernest Montemayor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Como una intención especial y en oración contra todo mal, oremos juntos la oración de San Miguel. San Miguel Arcángel, defiéndenos en la batalla, sé nuestro amparo contra la perseveridad y asesinación del demonio. Reprímale Dios, pedimos suplicantes. Y tú, y tú, príncipe de la milicia celestial, arroja al infierno con el divino poder a Satanás y a los otros espíritus malignos que andan dispersos por el mundo para la, por la perdición de las almas. Amén. Merciful God, we ask that you hear these humble prayers and we pass through Christ our Lord. Amen. sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. 
Receive, O Holy Father, the offerings we bring as we venerate the passion of the holy martyrs, so that amid the trials of this life we may always be found faithful and may offer ourselves to you as an acceptable sacrifice through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs, Andrew and his companions, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows for us your marvelous works, and by which in our weakness you perfect your power on the feeble, bestow strength to bear your witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Santo eres en verdad, Señor, fuente de toda santidad. Por eso te pedimos que santifiques estos dones con la infusión de tu espíritu, de manera que sea convertan para nosotros en el cuerpo y la sangre de Jesucristo nuestro Señor el cual, cuando iba a ser entregado a su pasión voluntariamente aceptada, tomó pan dando gracias, lo patió y lo dio a sus discípulos diciendo, tomen y coman doros de él, porque esto es mi cuerpo que será entregado por ustedes. Del mismo modo acabar la cena, toma el cáliz dando gracias de nuevo. Lo pasó a sus discípulos diciendo, tomen y beban todos de él, porque este es el cáliz de mi sangre, sangre de alianza nueva y eterna, que será derramada por ustedes y por muchos para el perdón de los pecados. Hagan esto en conmemoración mía. Este es el momento de nuestra fe. Anunciamos tu muerte, proclamamos su resurrección. Ven, Señor Jesús. Así pues, Padre, a celebrar ahora el memorial de la muerte y resurrección de tu Hijo, te ofrecemos el pan de vida y la cáliz de salvación, y te damos gracias porque nos haces dignos de servirte en tu presencia. Te pedimos humildemente que el Espíritu Santo congregue en la unidad a cuantos participamos el cuerpo y la sangre de tu de Cristo. Acuérdate, Señor, de tu iglesia extendida por toda la tierra y con el Papa Francisco, con nuestro obispo Gustavo y todos los pastores que cuidan de tu pueblo, llévala a su perfección por la caridad. Acuérdate también de nuestros hermanos que ser tu, tu miedo en la esperanza de la resurrección y de todos los que han muerto en tu misericordia. Admítelos a contemplar la luz de, de tu rostro, de misericordia de todos nosotros y así con María la Virgen, Madre de Dios, tu esposo, San José, 
los apóstoles y cuántos vivieron nuestra amistad a través de todos de los tiempos. Merezcamos por tu Hijo, Señor Jesucristo, compartir la vida eterna y cantar tus alabanzas. Por Cristo con él y en él, a ti Dios Padre Omnipotente, en la realidad del Espíritu Santo, todo honor, toda gloria por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. As we stand together with faith and confidence in eternal life, at the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Cordero de Dios, que quitas el pecado del mundo, de piedad. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. pray this act of spiritual communion for our brothers and sisters who are not able to join us. And we pray, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. El recibo que corta el villano 
se convierten ahora en pan y vino de amor en el cuerpo y la sangre del Señor se convierten ahora en pan y vino de amor en el cuerpo y la sangre del Señor compartimos la misma comunión somos trigo del mismo sembrado un molino la vida nos tritura con dolor Dios nos hace Eucaristía en el amor un molino la vida nos tritura con dolor Dios nos hace Eucaristía en el amor como granos que han hecho el mismo pan como notas que tejen un cantar como gotas de agua que se funden en el mar los cristianos un cuerpo formarán como gotas de agua que se funden en el mar los cristianos su cuerpo formará en la mesa de Dios se sentará como hijo su pan comulgará una misma esperanza caminando cantará en la vida como hermanos se amará una misma esperanza caminando cantará en la vida como hermanos se amará Let us pray. Renewed by the one bread as we commemorate the holy martyrs, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that abiding as one in your love, we may merit by endurance an eternal prize through Christ our Lord. Amen. As I mentioned earlier, we are celebrating Thanksgiving tomorrow, so we want to wish everybody a happy and blessed Thanksgiving. Uh, we will be having a 10 a.m. Mass tomorrow morning and no 12 p.m. So please plan accordingly. There will be a 10 a.m. and it will be bilingual and we will also be live streaming it for those who won't be able to come. So please plan accordingly. We still have our Friday at noon, but the office will be closed on Thursday and Friday. Wishing everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The celebration is ended. Let us now go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks, Thanks be to God. To God. Thank you. This little light of mine This little light of mine This little light of mine Lucecita, yo tengo una lucecita y yo la voy a hacer brillar. Tengo una lucecita y yo la voy a hacer brillar, brillará, brillará.